Apple Gift Card is a practical gift that unlocks a world of entertainment and fun. You can send it via email or give a physical card to your loved ones. Your friends and family can spend it on their favorite Apple services, including Apple subscriptions. Apple Gift Card can be used to buy all things Apple. Products, accessories, apps, games, movies, TV shows, iCloud Plus, and more. Visit apple.com for details and to send Apple gift cards to your friends and family this holiday season. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, I'm going to be talking on pretty much defending reaction videos. I know people still to this day get on me about doing reaction videos, even though, like, if you search my name up or if you just do a little bit of research and scrolling, you know that I do far more than reaction videos, all right? Now, yes, reaction videos, they do bring in um, my income, they do, you know, help me and stuff have you know youtube as a career and things and it also entertains people that's why i feel like a lot of people they just you know that get on people that do reaction videos i don't think they realize but people feel, build a fan base off of that so i'm like why, why would i listen to you versus my own fans you know that just doesn't really make any sense to me i'm like i'm not going to listen to a person that wants me to stop making money i'm going to listen to a person that wants me to continue making money i want to listen to people that's helping me that's not helping when you're telling me to stop doing something i'm like yeah you guys and it's crazy because they'll say some stuff like oh well focus on those other videos you guys don't even watch those other videos Y'all don't promote them. Y'all don't do anything for them. You guys comment more on how much you hate reaction videos than how much you like my music or how much you like my rock star editor and all of that. And it's funny because, you know, when I like say things like that, then they watch my other videos and then they want to say quote unquote criticizing things about it. I'm like, there's nothing to criticize about any of the work that I do. I publish my work for a reason. I be, and that's because I think my work is good. You know, far more than good. A lot better than the uh, videos than people that I made about me. So and that goes out to anybody. But anyways, um, but yeah, like people, you know, for those that don't know, like I know a lot of you guys um, discovered me this year. And uh, it's a thing where, you know, back, like, I was dealing with it, like, mainly five years ago, because that's when I really started building a following and building a fan base from reaction videos. But, um, yeah, if you check back, you'll probably see some, like, comments on some of my older videos. Well, most of them I've deleted since then, because I'm like, yo, this is stupid. Like, big YouTubers, small YouTubers, a bunch of people do reaction videos. I'm not going to stop doing reaction videos because you don't like them or you watch the video about how you don't, uh, how a person doesn't like reaction videos. And that's one thing that I have to say about a lot of people on the internet, mainly haters. They can't think for themselves. They, for the most part, a hater would see a video about that person and that's when they built that hatred. You know, it wasn't something that they discovered on their own. And that would be the question to my haters without any of the videos that you guys like because if you already have a hatred for reaction videos then okay you're just overall supporting everyone else that's using their voice and using their platform to talk about why they hate reaction videos but for those that didn't you were a fan of whoever made a video about me but let's say they didn't make those videos about me do you think you would have known of me do you think you would have had this hatred of me no you wouldn't you would have known who i was if i existed or not and there's still youtubers out there that exist that's probably doing far more um reaction videos than me and they're getting far more views and all that other stuff more than me so i'm like that's why i'm like yeah you guys y'all only want to hate on a person when another person is hating on them but if they're not then yeah you guys aren't gonna you know it's kind of like a trump effect like you know he didn't really bring out the racism in people until you know he started being racist himself so but anyways um you know had to had to get a little political because today is election um election day so it's gonna be crazy you know to upload this episode and things and to see you know i'm like dang you know i voted and i'm all like bruh if y'all y'all haven't voted well by the time this episode comes out you know we we're gonna either have an old president or we're gonna have a new president hopefully we have a new president but anyways um but <laughs> just to kind of get a little bit off topic i seen kanye post like oh i voted for the first time and um and you know who i voted for i voted for me and i'm like bro I, mm, I don't know about that one, Chief, but anyways, all right, now getting back on topic, but 
Yeah, so for those that don't know, um, reaction videos have been getting hate for years. Um, ever since, like, what, 2014, 2015, when reaction videos started blowing up, um, a lot of um, uh, commentary channels would come out and talk on why they hate reaction videos. I know one of the big ones was uh, this guy named I Hate Everything. Um, I, I think he, I wonder if he still does videos. I Hate Everything. Cause he was he was a um, pretty oh he did he did a video three weeks ago, and yeah he still does videos. I wonder if he does like the if he still has the reaction video. Uh oh yep yep he still has it. I hate reaction videos. It is funny because I actually had liked his video. I thought it was a really um good like well put together video, and it but that's the thing though the reason why because I know other people will come out and they would talk on why they hate reaction videos. Him, on the other hand, that's his character. That's his persona. That's his thing. He comes out and says why he hates everything. Other people were seeing that and they was like, oh, well, let me make, because this video is blown up. Let me go and make my own version of why I hate. So, and these guys was, um, and I hate everything. He did mention, like, you know, some YouTubers, but I felt like that he was doing that. So it's like, you know, you can't necessarily say like, I hate reaction videos and don't show any reaction videos in that video. You know, it's like that wouldn't make any sense. It's like, what are you talking about? What do you mean reaction videos? So he had to like show uh, YouTubers that was doing reaction videos as an example. And some of those YouTubers, they went out and attacked him. And yeah, he just, he pretty much like any of the arguments or any of the reasons people they brought up in their videos. Because he did bring up some good valid points. I know a lot of uh, YouTubers that did reaction videos. They would just sit there and make faces and they just, you know, they won't say anything. Me, I, my reaction videos, I would have to say that they're different than the majority of the reaction videos that exist in the world. Me, I pause and talk. I give out commentary. I do whatever. And people, they, you know, they don't watch that. And that's why I'm like, uh, people, when they comment, when people comment on my video, I'm like, okay, I know you didn't watch the video. I'm like, don't click on the video if you ain't going to watch it. That doesn't even make any sense. You're going to leave a comment. I'm like, usually you leave a comment after you don't watch the video. I'm not going to leave a comment at the beginning or halfway. I'm waiting until that final second, all the way towards the end of the video to leave my comment. But people would leave comments like, oh, all reaction videos, I hate them. All you do is sit there in silence. And I'm like... Did you see, because I'm like, I just reacted to a five-minute video. My reaction video is like 20 minutes long. Why, what am I doing for the, if the video that I reacted to, let's just do some like, you know, some math real quick, all right? So if the video that I reacted to is five minutes, where does, and my video is 20 minutes, what am I doing them extra 15 minutes? Okay, please, please just, you know, do the math, write full sentences, do whatever you, you know, make sure your grammar is correct. Because I'm, I'm just curious, like, you know, what, what did you see from that video? And that's why I'm like, a lot of times, like, when you would bring that up to a person, like, did you even bother to watch the video? They still just had, like, this built-up hatred for reaction videos. I'm like, okay, well, there's obviously no talking to you because it's pretty much talking to a child. So, I, so I'm like, yeah. I am going to um, bother. That's why, like, a lot of times I delete uh, my hate comments because I'm like, it's stupid. It's people that don't even watch the video. It's like, that's, I'm like, you can't really talk to a person if you, like, you're trying to understand what they're talking about, you know, but you can't, like, because they don't, they didn't even watch the video. So you're like, well, how do I respond to this? Like, what what do you do? So that's, I'm like, yeah, I'd usually delete, um, delete the, uh, the hate comments because I'm like, it's stupid, but... Anyways, um, but yeah, like 2014, 2015, um, you know, people was making like, because I think Leafy is here. He did a video on why he hates reaction videos. Um, there's this one guy, grade A under A. I wonder what he's been up to. Because I know I hate everything. Um, he's, yeah, he obviously, he still does uh, videos. Grade A under A. Oh, he did a video um, four months ago. And uh, yeah, you know, he's, he's still doing, he did a couple of videos four months ago. Like, he's still getting views. He's still doing his thing. But, yeah, for the most part, um, you know, but people was, like, watching those videos and was all like, oh, like, now I hate reaction videos because this video is going viral. And I feel like I got to go with the crowd and, you know, be a clout chaser and things. I'm like, you can't think for myself. So I got to, like, use other YouTubers to think for me and stuff. And um, that was, like, that was, like, one of the things I was saying because uh, I had made, so, like, at that time, like, everybody, you know, was attacking reaction channels, reaction, like, videos, 
like anything that had like a video title and then reaction at the end of it it was being attacked so i was being attacked youtubers that i watched that did reaction videos they was being attacked literally everybody and it's crazy because um i can't remember who said it i don't know if it was i hate everything or another youtuber but somebody has said that people that do reaction videos don't have any talent so then that was like the ongoing discussion, you know, uh, people just like saying that and things. I'm like, every person that I've seen do reaction videos, because you got Tyrone Magnus. He's like one of the biggest like uh, people that do reaction videos. Like this man made it on the news for talking about how he quit his job to do reaction videos. So you would think like uh, people are saying how uh, reaction videos are against the YouTube guidelines. Yet and still I have like over 3000 videos of me doing reaction videos and there's other youtubers with like more like they got thousands of videos up of it and then tyro magnus he made it onto the news so you would think a youtuber makes it on the news you think that the people behind youtube isn't going to watch that because i know if i um yeah if i was the owner of youtube i definitely would watch that uh news segment to just be like oh well that's cool youtuber he made it onto the news for good reasons you know, like, there, every time when you hear a YouTuber makes it on the news, they usually follow it up like, oh, this YouTuber killed themselves and about a 100 other people. So, about time we had something positive on the news. So, I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to get mad at a guy because he was able to quit his job and turn YouTube into a career. However, he turned it into a career, whether he's doing reaction videos, gaming videos, makeup tutorials, or whatever. You know, this man is living out his dreams. He's doing what he wants to do, and I feel like that's the only thing that should matter, but... People that hated reaction videos, they wasn't seeing that. So, um, what is this? Hold on for a second. I got a new follow. It's my, it might be a spam follow on Instagram, but hold on for a second. All right. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a spam. It was an actual legitimate person. So I'm like, cool. Finally, you know, a real person followed me on Instagram. <laughs> I was like, man, I, I swear I get so sick and tired of like fake accounts, like messaging me or viewing my stories or whatever i had one fake account messaging me talking about oh yeah we sell replica shoes i'm like why would you say that why would you say that you sell replica shoes now you got gave me that illusion that the shoes are fake i'm not promoting that so anyways back on reaction videos so uh yeah um what, what was i saying i can't remember but anyways um uh, but you know moving on so Probably 2016 or maybe it was 2015. I can't remember, but I made a video uh, defending um, people that do reaction videos because there is the one YouTuber that I watch um, named Jinx. And Jinx was he, like, you know, he he made, I don't even know if he still does uh, reaction videos, but Jinx is a cool dude. He's one of those guys where it's like, you know, I, uh, oh, he might not even be on YouTube anymore. Oh, wait a second. Because he, he might go, oh, he uh, streamed. He streamed a week ago. But yeah, I was like, um, nah, he's like, he's a cool dude. Like, he was like one of the like OG YouTubers that I watched, um, when it came to reaction videos. And every video that I watched of his, like, when you watch it, like, you're going to be entertained by it. But I just think that people that hated reaction videos didn't like the fact that he was going out and was reacting to videos. And so there is like a lot. Oh, man, it was like, a, honestly, it was like some like it was a war between people that did reaction videos and commentary channels. Like it was a legitimate war. But I should. That's actually a good idea. I should talk about that. Where's my notebook? Um, I'm about to, yeah, I, I'm going to write that down. I'm actually going to make that into like a little miniature documentary. Talk about that. Hold on for a second. I got I to gotta write this down. But anyways, um, Jinx, so he came out with uh, this reaction video um, reacting to some guy. I think his name was like Jack Films or something like that. So uh, he reacted to Jack Films video. Hold on. Let me write this down for a second. Reaction videos versus commentary channels yeah that's gonna be a good one because that was honestly man i'm telling you it was a full out war between um people that did reaction videos and uh commentary channels but anyway so jinx reacted to this guy i think named jack films and um I guess in the video of uh, um, Jinx, he gave like very little uh, commentary. But here's the thing to defend Jinx on that. So a lot of times people would recommend video to us. That's why I'm like, yo, I try to give off whatever it is that I can talk about. I try to talk like, you know, as much as I possibly can in the video. 
But if it's a video where I'm brand spanking new to this genre, like that's why you don't really see me uh, reacting to makeup tutorials because literally the only thing that I can say is that I, the only thing that I put on my face, soap, water, lotion, you know, that's it. But this eyeshadow, lipstick, lip, no shadow, cheek shadow, chin shadow, forehead shadow, all these other different types of shadows. I don't know what any of that stuff is. So that's why I never ever react to makeup tutorials because I don't know what's being talked about. I like, and I just recently discovered that there's like a beef going on within the vitamin community. I didn't even know that that exists. There's still content to this day that I'm like, I don't. And, there, and I remember there was a point in time with this guy that actually led into like a me and a beef between this, um, some kid on the internet. I ain't gonna really refer to him as a YouTuber because he wasn't. But um, he, he wanted me to react to these videos about ponies killing each other. And I remember I reacted to that video and I was just like, what was this? Like, it wasn't even the fact that I like, I didn't, I just, I didn't find that video entertaining at all. It's like, I was like, I honestly found the video like kind of stupid. So I took the video down and I was just like, I'm not going to keep this up on my channel. So I'm all like, I took the video down and the kid got mad, threatening to kill me. And I'm like, yeah, that kid was a weirdo. But anyways, um, but yeah, so there are at times when people will recommend videos and you're not going to like, you know, you're not going to know what the video is about. Like, you know, there's videos I'm like, I've seen, I'm just like, okay, you know, I got to improvise. I got to come up with some things to say, whether it's just random stuff or it's like, you know, something I can mention about the video that I can relate to. But there are at times where, you know, you'll get recommended a video from a fan and you're not going to know. But it's like, you know, a fan really wanted that video. Like there's at times where it's like a fan will comment some stuff saying, oh, you should react to this. And for those that, you know, don't really know YouTube that well. Um, people will thumbs up that comment. Like, you're saying like, oh, yeah, I want you to react to this video. I want you to react to this video and stuff. Or even replying to that comment saying, oh, yeah, you got to check this video out. So, Jinx reacts to the video. He's laughing. He finds the video entertaining and stuff. He's cracking up. And the guy, I guess, didn't like his reaction to the video. So, then he did his own, like, he pretty much was, like, mocking Jinx. And he did a video where he was like reacting to Jinx, reacting to the guy's video. So it was Jack Films reacting to Jinx, reacting to Jack Films like video, the original video. So, but yeah, Jack Films, he's just sitting there just smiling. And then he said some stuff at the end. And then at that point, the video was over. And um, yeah, then at that point, everybody was just getting on um, Jinx. Jinx was getting like a lot of hate. Um, and then it's like, it just really just opened up like a new door for like hatred towards reaction videos. So I came out with my own video defending reaction videos. And then that's when some people might know who this guy is if you search up my name, but there's this guy named Just a Robot. That's when it enabled the beef between me and him was me making that video. And I'm like, I should be allowed to defend YouTubers that I like because it wouldn't be no different. Let's say if this was the other way around, you know, let's say if it wasn't of uh, people that did reaction videos that was getting all the hate. It was people that was doing commentary videos that was getting all of the hate. So what would be different if if uh, uh, Just a Robot, if he did the same thing I did, he came out with a video defending commentary channels. There wouldn't be no difference. So my question to him is that why are you so mad and you're beefing with me about defending reaction um, videos? And I know people are going to probably comment saying like, oh, he never was mad. He never... Look, that dude, I remember the uh, the night that me and him and um, like that. And there's like there's always this night that I talk about where it like really enabled it pretty much enabled this hate train where it was him and his fans. Every time when I upload the video, just get rated with dislikes. So uh, but no, I remember that night very well that night, even though it was four years ago. I remember that night very well. Because, and now I know, like, you know, when he or any of them guys just comment on my channel, I'm just deleting the comments. Y'all ain't gonna suck me up in no beef or no drama again. I'm like, look, that is on you guys. Anything coming from them, I am ignoring it. Whether they trying to set me up or get me into some beef or some arguments, I'm ignoring it all. I'm like, look, I'm on a good path and a good track right now on YouTube. I am not gonna waste this opportunity fooling around with those guys, but... I remember when um, me and him, we got into an argument one night and uh, he he got like mad because he wanted me to accept his criticism or advice or help. And I'm like, I don't need nothing from you. I don't need no help, no criticism. And I'm like, what do you, you come here? And what's, what's crazy about it, 
If you're trying to help a person, why would you insult them as soon as you start the conversation? So picture this, you're at work and you're struggling to put like something on the shelf or you're struggling to find the address to some place, like you're a delivery driver and you're struggling and you got a passenger or a bystander, whoever, you got somebody on the side of you making fun of you. And that's like, you know, and you ain't going to accept that. You ain't, you don't think that that's cool. You don't think that's something that's like, especially if you don't know this person. I can understand if it was a friend of mine, but if you're not a friend of mine, why would you like come out and say some things that's going to be insulting to that person? You know, do you understand like how awkward that would be? Like, let's say, yeah, let's say if you are a delivery driver and you get lost and that person's all like, oh, you dumb, you're retarded. You don't know where you're driving. You don't know where you're going and you don't know who this person is. This is like your first day. Okay, well, maybe you might have seen each other like, you know, a couple of like times um, prior before, but you're brand spanking new to this person. You ain't friends with them. You ain't cool with them. You don't know nothing about them. And they come out and they say some stuff like that about you. You ain't going to look at them like they're crazy. Because I know I would. I pull the car over and be like, yo, is there something that we should settle? Because if not, I suggest you just shut up and sit down and be a passenger. You ain't going to say no things like that and then think I'm going to be cool with this. So anyways, um, yeah, so he comes out. He starts insulting me. And I'm all like, nah, that's not going to slide with me. And I'm like, and then you think I'm going to be cool with you and want to take any advice or help from you? And I'm like, man, you you can kindly go away. You can, kind, you can get off of my channel. But... Yeah, then, like, from then, his fans will always comment on my videos talking about, oh, you should have accepted his help. I'm like, I would rather, okay, quit YouTube, find a different career goal or path than to accept any things from him. That's the end of that. But anyways, um, but yeah, but it was, like, after, it probably wasn't up until maybe, like, 2017, 2018, that's when, uh, well, the hate did kind of die off probably 2016. Like, it was pretty silent when it came to uh, reaction videos. And um, and it wasn't, like, and it was still, like, a, a lot of the people that did reaction videos back then, um, you know, they was still doing them for a while. But then they, you know, slowly just disappeared and things. It would probably be me, Tyro Magnus. I know I'm Dante. He still does reaction videos. Uh, Jinx and I know his um, Jinx and his brother they used to do reaction videos but um, his brother he doesn't even do reaction videos anymore he does like family like vlog videos or prank videos and Jinx um, I think yeah he just he think he just focuses on making music but um, yeah it's like these guys they don't even like a lot of the guys that used to do reaction videos you still see people doing reaction videos still to this day and they even had it where it was a reaction video went viral it was of these kids reacting to this like old like 80s uh, or 90s song I don't know when that song came out but it was man um, it was the song that Mike Tyson was singing in the hangover and then he punched the um, one dude uh, Andy from um, the office he punched him across the face but uh was it or was it who no it wasn't him he i think or was it i think it was um uh the other guy it was the one dude with the beard uh jack galafinakis i think that's that dude's name jack good no I, I can't even spell that dude's last name the hang over jack was his name jack zach zach galafinakis okay not jack Zale. i was close i was rhyming but uh, yeah, I think that's his, like, Galafanaticus, Jack Galafanaticus, I don't know, man, his, he got, that dude got a long name, Jack, no, no not Jack, Zach Galafanaticus, I freaking, I don't know, man, I've been saying it, um, Galafanaticus for years now, and I haven't had nobody correct me on it, so, but anyways, um, but yeah, so that song that Mike Tyson was singing, there was a um these like brothers I believe that reacted to that video. And that video went viral. Even the people that um that made that song, they even shared the video and was talking on it and stuff. So people like reaction videos, all right? Like sit like no, like sit down and just hear me out on this because when you react to a person, and I know that was like the uh, people's argument about it, and I'm like, yo, if I ever create or release a movie and people react to it or they react to clips or whatever, I'm all with it. I'm all with it. I wouldn't trip about it because I'm like, yo, um, if people want to see them react, excuse me, if people want to see them, that's why I'm like, yo, I'm going to probably just do like movies where it just gets released through 
like my production i'll come out with like a production agency and i'm like i do all my movies then or just or like on my own like i ain't gonna really you know go through no like warner brothers or universal studios or no other stuff unless i'm doing a movie for them but if i'm doing my own movie yeah it's gonna be, um it's gonna most likely be released on youtube and if people react to it I'm like, I've been reacting to videos for how long now? I'm not going to trip over somebody reacting to my videos. So, uh, but no, I just, you know, I think that, because I, like, or like I was saying, like, you know, the ongoing, like, argument that commentary channels would use against people that do reaction videos was that you can't react to uh, full, like, you know, full length movies and stuff. Like, you can't react to Star Wars or Avatar or uh bonnie and clyde or whatever movies out there yes because it is owned by some production agency that has contracts and all this other stuff like they are closed in to where only they're going to be making like their money but public youtube videos videos and it's like you guys sit down and think about it can you go into best buy and buy a youtube video can you go into Target and buy a YouTube video? Can you go into Walmart and buy a YouTube video? There is different rules and regulations when it, and you can't even compare. You got to find something a little bit more comparing to YouTube videos than movies that get played in movie theaters. When was the last time you seen a YouTube video get played in the movie theaters? I'm saying, like, I just, I don't understand that. I'm like, how do you expect to ha that for it to be a, a legitimate comparison? And it's like, they come from two different families. That's like comparing a lion and a dog. Like, you can't compare them. They're two different animals. It's no comparison. So that's why I'm like, yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't react to movies. Because it doesn't come from that family of YouTube videos. And I'm like, and then it's like, yeah, on top of that, like I was saying, like, there's like, things like to like protect movies and stuff to you know to keep people from doing that but i do see it in the near future if you have it already where artists is or um you know because i've seen it where artists is, they've promoted people that do reactions to their songs look at uh xxx tentacion um and i'm dante x he was like telling i'm dante yo yeah you can react to my music no problem and he was and um x was like um shouted him out Shouting him out because no, he shouted him out on Instagram, both him and Ski Mask. I was like, yo, that's the dopest thing ever, man, to wake up and XXX Tentacion and Ski Mask and Slum guys shout you out on Instagram. But they shouted him out. And then even with the one uh, girl, she disappeared. I hope she's all right. But I think they say she's like working at some like fitness place or something. But Lael Hansen, um, she, uh, she was, um, in fact, I see it probably like nothing about her. Cause I'm like, yo, I would've, uh, yeah, she's, that girl's gone. I was like, man, that's messed up. I miss Lil Hanson. I was like, I wish she would come back and like, at least like tell us like, you know, what's going on. But anyways, um, but yeah, Lil Hanson, she was reacting to, um, a lot of, uh, YouTubers or not YouTubers, but musicians. She reacted to X and Ski and they, um, and I remember when X it was for his last album, Bad Vibes Forever. She actually, I think, either she flew out or she got flown out to go see, um, to, like, the release party for that album. So, yeah, it was, like, you know, artists, is, and I'd, like, and I see it if it was, like, uh, actors, because it's, you know, like, even with, like, music, it's different from movies. So it's, like, you know, you can't really compare, like, movies and music because it's different, you know? It's, like, an artist will come out with a song on his own, like, self um, or herself, whoever, and it's, you know, but they're, they're going to probably still have, like, rules and regulations. That's why you'll see where the video will get copyright claimed. Now, some music, I guess it depends on who's uh, the record label. You, you, there probably will be, like, some record labels where they'll open, they're, they are open to the idea of people reacting to their stuff. But it ain't going to be, like, no movie production. You know, like, yeah, obviously a movie production, you'll get shut down for that stuff. And who's going to sit there? Because my thing is, is, like, look, if that video is, like, over 30 minutes, 40 minutes long... And it ain't somebody that I'm like, it has to be like a good friend of mine that I'm reacting to where it's going to be some stuff like that. But I'm like, I'm not going to sit down and react to no two, three hour movie, you know, for another person's entertainment. I'm all like, I if I do, I'm all like, I'll probably, it's going to definitely be chopped up. I'm all like, because there's at points in times, like for an example, if somebody had asked me to react to the movie Transformers, I can literally tell them what I seen in the beginning and what I seen at the end. But that middle part of the movie, 
Oh, I can't. I always, I every Transformers movie that came out, I haven't seen Bumblebee, but it was like all the other Transformer movies falling asleep on all of them, every last one of them. I can't tell you um like what happened in that middle part of the movie because I'm like I don't know what happened. All I know is that the robots uh came to Earth in the beginning and they had a big fight in the city <laughs> at the end. So I'm like I I can't tell you what happened um in those Transformer movies. All I've seen is the beginning and the end. But anyways, yeah, I'm like but no, people ain't gonna sit there and react to no like hour and a half or like you know and yeah if they chop it up and leave parts out and they you know do find ways. It's like it's possible where you can react to the movie where it's and then you can even have it where it's like you uh. Um, the, you like you give off some sort, and that's why I'm like, yo, people that do reaction videos give off commentary, so it's like people can you know like react or it's like whatever. But even Tyro Magnus, he's uh, he showed where his uh, girlfriend, um, Scarlo, she reacted to scenes of the movie. So I think people mainly, if they did ask people to react to a movie, they would mainly want to know how they would react to certain scenes of the movie. But it's like the whole movie, there's gonna be parts where it's like. Why this? I I know people ain't want me to react to this part of the movie where they sitting around the table talking and stuff like unless it's like some good acting that's going on. But if they coming up with a plan, I'm like, okay, this is how we gonna take out the Decepticons and all this stuff. Yeah, I'm like, you know, I ain't come here for that. I came here to actually see some Decepticons. But no, uh, he but no, Tyrone Magnus he had Scarlo react to the uh, Alien uh, movie where it's like one of the aliens had bursted out of the people's chest. And, um, yeah, I was like, you know, you want to see stuff like that, where it's just, they react, and even, um, Walking Dead, Walking Dead would probably be a perfect example for people reacting, uh, reacting to their stuff, is because, uh, Walking Dead, like, they welcome that, you know, you see it a lot of the times where they, uh, um, Walking Dead, they promote that stuff, because I'm telling you, if you watch dumb guys uh walking dead reactions especially my favorite is the one where uh it was rick's last episode oh my god seeing people cry over that i was like yo it was that and i think it when carl he got shot in the eye and it was man you when you see how those guys react it is funny so i'm my thing is when i like with music music videos um uh tv shows movies my own youtube whatever whatever it is you are welcome to react to it because i love seeing people's reactions i actually have like a try not to laugh channel that i'm working on where i would like i would love to see people react to some of the try not to laugh videos i have up on there but um yeah i'm like i don't i don't see it as a problem where uh people should you know they shouldn't react to the videos i hope in the future one day uh, people can like react to videos with you know like there's just no rules and regulations behind it you know they're not like youtube or any other company out there they're not going to trip about that type of stuff they're going to welcome it because i feel like when more people do that I just feel like it's a very um you know old generation that's behind a lot of stuff but i think once when they realize that when you react to a video you're promoting that person and it's free promotion when you are promoting that person. You sit down and think about it. Let's say a YouTuber, he has like, let's say if it's PewDiePie, 100 million subscribers. And you came out with an album and you asked PewDiePie to react to it. Free promotion. And then on top of that, you're getting paid because he viewed so yeah he's making his money and that's how um that's how things like you know how it should be it's like you know okay like overall how much whatever money that they make off of that video that's how much money they're gonna make off of it but you're going to be the star you're going to be like everybody's going to be talking about you like yeah pewdiepie he's the co-star everybody's just like oh okay pewdiepie reacted to this guy but that music was good you know, people are going to want it, and then they're going to, that's just going to be more and more. Because sit down and think about it. You're a small YouTuber or you're a small artist and somebody big like PewDiePie reacts to your video, but you hate reaction videos. But they're the reason why you're blowing up. They're the reason why, let's say, you got your dream car, you got your dream house, you got all these things because somebody sat down and react to your video. You still going to hold that hatred for re um, reaction videos? And PewDiePie, the biggest YouTuber of all time, just reacted to you, shouted you out, was, you know, vibing to your song, showing you some love, and you still gonna hate reaction videos. Okay, let's, let's see, let's see how far you get with that. 
honestly, if that if that were to ever happen, where he reacted to a person, blew them up with their music, showed them love, said how much he liked each and every song, and you come out and you say how much you hate PewDiePie and how much you hate reaction videos, your career is done. You ain't even gonna have a music career at that point anymore. You can keep like, I, I put money on that. You will not have a music career if somebody just gave you your big break and you didn't show no love back. You ain't gonna have no music career. <laughs> You're done after that. So anyways, um, yeah. Uh, I just think people need to, you know, still to this day, people trip about reaction videos. But I think people just need to stop all that. It's like, it's done. It's over with. Everybody's doing reaction videos. You know, it's like, I'm pretty sure a small, like, um, uh, director, producer, actor, whoever, you know, if PewDiePie or somebody big reacted to their videos. Let's say James Cameron came out and he started doing reaction videos. You know, it's, it's funny how it's like, you know, when nobody wasn't, when it was like small YouTubers doing reaction videos, people had everything to say about it. But then once when bigger YouTubers had started doing reaction videos, then everything just got silent and quiet. Like, no, nah, keep that same energy. No, nah, keep on like, you see PewDiePie. So I'm like, no, nah, you guys come out with videos talking on how PewDiePie is doing reaction videos. It was just funny, man, seeing that. I was like, you guys, wow. Like, you, that just doesn't even make any sense to me. It doesn't, but... Anyways, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for hearing me out. Thank you guys for uh, listening to today's episode. Stay tuned for some more. Um, uh, if you're viewing this on YouTube, like, subscribe, and if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow, subscribe, however it's set up. I also have a merch store, so you very well could go check it out. I got some merch for my podcast. I got some merch for you know my brand, Wastelanders. You guys can go check that out. Um, what else? Uh, follow my um, brand on Instagram, at Wastelanders. Um, you can find I like I promote it on my on my main Instagram account at Tmos Boss. So you guys can very well go find that. Uh, what else? Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, just go show some love and stuff. So, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening, and peace.